gosh darn. Hi guys, it's Charlie, and today we're back with a tackle video. This is my tackle box right here. It's a um Fetcher Shry Rock. And it has four containers in it. And this is the first one. I call this my hard bait container because it has all my lures in it. So first we have three crankbaits stuck together. We have this crankbait right here, medium diver. We have this one right here. This is out. This is a um, bluegill pattern one. And this is a, I forget what color this is, but it's a square bill mini crankbait. And that is my crankbaits. Now let's move on to the top water. I only have two. I have a uh, popper right here. Uh, let's see. Has the feathers on the end, treble hooks, and it has very nice action. And then we have this fly right here. Very, very good um, detail on it. It's top water. And yeah. Then we're moving on to this. I have a big old jerk bait. Haven't really used this one yet. Little rusty hooks. And yeah. Oh, and you guys, if you guys didn't know, my friend Shane's over here. He's going to be in the video with me. Come here, Shane. Yep. <laughs> and then I have the spinner bait. I'm not a big fan of spinner baits, but I just have one in my tackle box. I oh, have this. like spin baits in there, so. Yeah. I have this Z Man Chatterbait White. I trimmed the skirt a little bit, I think. No, that might have been the other one. But, nice one, Z Man Chatterbait. Then, last, we have this Buzzbait. It's a real old one. And, yeah. So, that was a hard bait kit. Now, let's get on with. Another box. Let's see here. This is my jig box. It has all my jig stuff in it. As you can see, I have my sw swim jigs. I have all these swim jigs right here. I have some other random swim jigs right there. And then we have this crappie magic right here. You can't really see it so tiny I think they're supposed to imitate a cricket so yeah then we have a um, strike king jig color green pumpkin has a uh, super chunk junior as a trailer on the end also green pumpkin color then we have this little furry thing I don't even know what the heck that's called if you know what this is called leave in the comment section Please. Then we have these two things. These. These float. Wait. Oh gosh. These float on top of the water, and it's a great bluegill bait. Then we have all my skirts right here. Skirts. Black and blue. blue all of them are black, black and. Blue and yeah, you have a yellow and black one in there. And then we have all kinds of green. We have jig heads. I don't know if you can see them. Here, I'm trying to get a good. Let me show you. Um, we have that. Wait, we have these jig heads right there. And um. That's all. That's in the jig box. And then, last but not least, we have the hook box. Hook and, and sinker. Sinks. sinks. Yep. So, crap. Oh, and, and at the end of the video, we have a trick to show you with the hook. Yep. We sure do. And, um, so, right here... We have all my, uh, 
different. We have all my hooks. So first, we have the um, panfish hooks in here. Let me get one out to show you. We have some panfish hooks. Whole container of them. Then we have, I call them straight hooks. They're just regular old hooks that have straight end and everything. So that's that. Then we have my favorite hooks. I love these hooks. Some Gamagatsi 2 aught hooks. I use these for Texas rigging and everything. And Do I have fast grip? He has fast grip ones over here. And then I just have some treble hooks laying, lying around in this box. Then we have some slip slide sinkers right here. Gray. Crap. Oh, can't show you. There. Gray slip slide sinkers. And then Shane. Bullet white. Bullet weight. We have, Shane and has black one. painted sinkers. Yep. That I use for like worms. Texas rigging. Texas rigging. Then I just have a couple bullet uh bullet sinkers in here. It's not important. But then we have my little um my little swivels. And next we have these. I don't use these, they're my uh dad's mom's. There are flies. We have this one, which is my favorite. And then we have this little tiny one. Right there. And that's all for the boxes in my tackle box. And next, I'm going to um, get in my uh, soft plastic. So... In here, oh, in here are my soft plastics. Right in this pocket, we have all of these. Ugh. I just have a couple um, ones. I have a couple uh, soft plastics laying around in there. So we have this soft, we have this tube jig. We have a crawdad. And then um, we have another Zoom su uh, Salty Super Tube, which goes in this pack. We have some Zoom Salty Super Tubes. I'll show you what they look like. Right here. Next, we have some uh, Strike King. Uh, shimmy stick worms. Color is green pumpkin. I'll show you what that looks like too. This is the worm right there, and that's the zoom shimmy sticks green pumpkin. Next, these. we have I forget what brand these are. Just have some uh. Straight tail worms. Color is black and blue. Black and purple, actually. That's what these look like. There you go. Next, we have some yum craw bugs. Um, that's what those. And open this up for y'all. Oh my gosh. Like in one of them stupid packages. Screw it. It's good enough. Then I'll show you what these look like. Crawl dads. Yep. For bass. Yep. Smallmouth basses. Bass especially. Yes. That's that. Love Then last, certainly not least. We have some power bait lizards right here. Get them out for you. Um, 
that's the lizard. That's what them look like. Then next, we're gonna show you Shane's soft plastics. He has some. Show your stuff. Um, super hog salt zoom. And these hogs. are really good smallmouth and largemouth fishing. I caught like 13 at the reservoir. There's, show them what that looks like. This is what this is. Yeah, you have to show it up. That's what them it's look a, like. like a frog lizard. Yeah. And we have some frog type lizard. Black worms. Yeah, black cabellas. Yeah, you have to raise it up. See? Cabellas. Um, they are four inches action tail series. Cabellas. Yep. And we have some on the blue showing them. We have some Vanish Stream slash Berkeley. We have some. What yeah. pound is that? It is. Oh, six pound. No six doubt. pound stream. And then next, we're going to show you. I think I have a couple more things laying around in my tackle box. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. I have to show you this. Yeah. We have us, can't see it, but I have me a fillet knife in here for when I need to cut my string. And I love this tackle bag because it comes in with a built-in knife holder. I don't know if you can see that good, but it has a knife holder right there. And this is my knife. It's a Shimano, Shimano, Shimano fillet knife. Yep. Uh, that's what the blade looks like. Really very sure. nice, yeah. I've used this a lot. And just slip it in there, then velcro it back in there. And then I don't know if I have anything else to show y'all. Check in here. Nope. I have me a Swiss Army knife that has my name on it. Charlie. Then we have a pair of of uh, like utility tool type thing. And I have some knives down the stairs. Yep. Uh, zip that back up. And yeah, that's all for my uh, tackle box. Yeah, now we're gonna like show me. you our, our poles. Yep. I have a Bass Pro Shops sixty dollar pole, real pole and reel. It's a combo. Yeah. A nice reel right here. I've only had this for a month, I think, and it costs 60 bucks. I have 20 pound braid on it. Right now I have a lipless crankbait on it. That rattles. Yep. And this, yep, Bash Pro Shop, um, integer, six foot long, I think, six foot something. But yeah, that's my fishing pole. And here's mine. That is a, um, that's a, Bass Pro Shops. Uh, how much did this cost again? Like um, seventy-five. Seventy-five dollars. Seventy-five dollars. With he has some ten-pound string on here. Yep. And he, ha it's a very nice pole. Yes. It's very strong, very sturdy. And I have a one of those black worms on. One of them Cabela's black worms. I will show you with in the video. Uh, hook, slip side clicker. Yeah. And um, that's all we have for you today. Yep. And see you next time on Charlie Upland Outdoors. See ya.